This is another hiding place. Oh shit! Move! Oh, that one proper got me. You're not afraid of the dark, are you? I hate this game. I hate it already and I've not even played yet. I think it's cursed. I tried recording it yesterday, but I thought everything was fucking up. Apparently the game disregarding a massive portion of the screen is totally normal. Like the person that made it was wearing shutter shades and working on a broken monitor, which I wasn't aware of, so I spent several hours like an asshole fiddling with wires and shit, which wasn't gonna solve anything. And then my controller stopped working and then OBS stopped working so everything was just falling apart to be honest. I was going to record it earlier today but I've been pretty busy. I kick started my day at 2pm with a bowl of Cheerios, cleaned my bowling spoon pretty much as soon as I had finished, earning myself a nap. I'm finally recording it, it's midnight so hopefully nothing too scary happened since the people I live with have important shit to do, like sleeping. I hate that one of the first things that happens is the narrator talks over the cutscene. He literally has four words to say, and the editor, cinematographer, whoever's fucking responsibility it was to sort it out, couldn't just port that bit of dialogue two seconds earlier. Like, if it was that important for us to have to hear, why not put it earlier? Why, why have two people talking at the same time? It's ridiculous. I mean, they're literally recapping a video game that was never released outside of Japan. Did they not think that they could convey to me the murderer lives by just showing me the recap? Why did they have to have a guy say it as well? You may as well put some woman on the screen to wave her hands in my face. Maybe bring back Clippy so I can click on him to double down on explanations if I'm not quite getting it. Oh yeah, so it could be doing dumb shit like this, and I don't even know if it's glitching now. I'm just going to have to assume all, all of what happens is normal. This could be normal, they look like scissors. This could be a artistic take on a loading screen. Professor, Professor Bar 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 what on earth are you doing, Professor? You mustn't hypnotize her like this. She's not ready to remember the murders yet. Helen, the clock tower murders are fascinating research material for me. She can't take any more of this today, Professor. I'm taking her home. All right. But remember one thing, Helen. You may be her guardian. But you are also my assistant. Okay, did she really just walk out on him, or was that a glitch? It's fuck knows, dude. Giant pair of scissors is okay. I didn't want to read it. A replica of the scissors used by the murderer. Jennifer, Sim it's not even fucking giving me time to read. I have to get information out of her for future profiling materials. It's just gonna be such a pain. I got all three of these games and Haunting Grounds. I got told they were good. I'm already pissed off. File cabinet, p something, what's this? There's a memo, st you found a hint. That's great. <laughs> Don't know what the hint was. I fucking found it, mate. Oh yeah, off we go. Lately I've been doing mostly criminal psychology research. <laughs> hmm, the staff is still here. That's bad grammar. Oh, I'm... I'm alive. Is there like a pair of knickers on the bookshelf? 
Margaret, what I tell you about putting knickers on the bookshelf? That's a statue. It's cold as well. One of the items found at the scene of the clock tower murders. I, I didn't read that bit, I looked at the microphone for emphasis. Uh, it would be a good idea to get an expert opinion on this. Is this what the game is? Professor, Helen left a few minutes ago and she looked really angry. Hmm. Is that Fred from Mystery Inc? Professor, a newspaper. Uh, did you have an appointment? Why give me a choice to like skip some shit and other shit? It's like... I don't. I don't get to read it. Can I interact with you again? It's about the clock to our murders, isn't it? Hmm, I guess they want to sensationalise us. Ah, so now I'm reading this without context, okay. Uh, Scissor Man, who really doesn't even exist. Scissor Man, it'd be cool if he were real. Uh, <laughs> just, just a joke. Was I supposed to continue talking to this lady? You know, Helen and Jennifer are really beginning to look like sisters, aren't they? I guess that's what happens when you live together. One mustn't let their personal feelings get in the way. <laughs> Jennifer is nothing more than another research subject. Uh, yes, yeah, you're right. Yeah? Can I go home now? What's this? Oh, so I'm guessing at some point I'll have more than just a fiddle finger. Okay. The only point-and-click game I've played before was like a Mickey Mouse haunted house thing. It might not have even been a haunted house, it might have just been a bog-standard house. Hey Professor, a newspaper reporter was looking for you on the first floor. Alright, thank you. I am the one who called you from Oslo Weekly News. My name is Nolan Campbell and this is Tim, my cameraman. It's a pleasure. Alright, nice to meet you, Tim. Uh, I'm a... yeah. So see ya. No? Alright, fucking hell. Uh, have you been able to figure out who the murderer is? Do you not think we would have made an arrest? Can't say anything because I'm not sure yet because the victim's testimony lacks credibility. Oh, do you mean the victim that's testifying? That would be Jennifer Simpson, wouldn't it? You said her te testimony lacked credibility. I know, I, mate, I can't keep up with this. He just took a photo of me. Keep that fucking camera at my face, you mug. This guy gets the voice of a bellend. Because the existence of this scissor man has become a symbol of terror among youngsters. Yeah, and that's because trashy gossip magazines like yours, have sensationalised the whole thing. Ouch, that hurts. Not much I can say to that, is there? No. Now get the fuck out the way. Well, let's start from the conclusion. It's the fact that there was a murderer who used a giant pair of scissors as his murder weapon, which we have. But that doesn't make him an immortal monster, obviously. We're just dealing with some screwball, but what about me? Talk is so fucking fast, and sometimes they give me the option to press X. I'll catch up when I'm editing, I guess. Thank you very much. Sorry I couldn't be as much help as you had hoped. I have to get back to the lab. So am I cool with that guy, or do I still think he's a bellend? Because I said I wasn't going to tell him anything, and then started telling him shit. He's supposed to be a young boy about ten years old. Who am I on about now? Oh, that's right. I still need to get an expert opinion on this statue. Is that you, mate? Sullivan, the head of the the head librarian at the Metropolitan Library. But there was an old butler at the Barrows Mansion named Rick. Rick Harrison from Porn Stars. Yeah, I bet he knows a guy who's an expert on that sort of thing. Uh, I could ask Harris to show it to him. Ask Harris. What am I asking Harris? Oh, fuck it, yeah. Ask... I don't even know who Harris is. I'll ask Harris to show it to Rick. Rick Harrison. 
from Pawn Stars. Okay, Edward. Now I want you to honestly tell me everything you remember about what happened. Uh, yeah. Well then, let's get started. Fucking hell. Can I do something scary now? Yeah, we should go for it. I didn't read that. So I thought I would, I'd have time to breathe for a second. Uh, I hope I can get fixed sometime today, otherwise... Oh, I hope I can get it fixed, and <laughs> not get fixed. She's not a fucking heroin junkie. Uh, I won't get my dissertation done on time. Don't worry, when Danny gets back, I'm sure he'll be able to help you. This is annoying. In the meantime, I'm going to step out for a bit. Would you ask Danny for me, please? Sure, see you later. I'm not sure what I'm asking Danny. It looks like Draco Malfoy, if he was also a vampire. And a mannequin. Mr. Barton also thought... I wasn't reading any of that. We plan to stay here for a bit. Oh, really? Well, hang in there, Edward. Assistant Inspector Gotts, the person in charge of the clock tower case, is here. This is so annoying. Well, hey, Teach. Got some new info? No, have you got any leads? Nope, nothing. Alright, well, thanks for fucking... Can I go now? Professor Barton, yeah, that's him. He said there ain't nothing straight about the case. Yeah, sounds like Professor Barton. Always super dismissive of kid murderers. What about that little cutie? Jennifer, she's still having nightmares. Occasionally. I guess I ain't surprised. She was almost slashed up too, wasn't she? Well, let me know if you want to learn something. You seem pretty, uh, sus. I replaced your hard drive. Ah, oh, thanks, mate. I'm going to go down to the lounge for a short nap. What are you going to do? Oh, we will all be going home soon. Okay, well, no need to lock up. Have I not got a home? Am I just a squatter? Ah, other people. Wakey, wakey. Is that you, Baker? Oh, it's whatever. Uh, Baker's still in the lab. Are you seeing Baker again here? Yeah, sort of. Oh, you you gonna do sexies in the bed? Okay. Um. Bunk beds for napping. What are you on about? Mate, you just fucking said you were coming down here for a nap. I can't sleep with it on. Ew, her? The one that's already in bed? That sounds like a you problem. Where's the light switch? It would help if I had more of a screen to be fucking looking at. Is that it? I don't want to accidentally leave. That's not it. There are some cosmetics on the shelf brought in by the staff. I don't know which is whose. Mm-hmm, okay. Where's this... Light switch? Is it... Is... Oh, what a puzzle. Ooh. So there's only this part of the room. Is it not? This is the light switch, yeah? So now I can... Oh, uh, then now I can use it. Okay. Now I want to go under the room and get... Bunk beds for that. Yeah, mate, you're really, really pissing me off. You want to get in this one? Do it then! Fucking hell! So she's just, she just not want to get in the bed beneath her because Danny's going to come and sprinkle snow all over me if I do. Is that Danny? Yeah? Is that you, Danny? There's not a keyhole. Alright. This is X ray here. There's clearly no keyhole on that door. Oh, that man's dead. Right, um. Yo, see you later, dude. Is that a weapon?
I don't know how I use it. Oh, like that, just by clicking. And put, yeah, put it back down and run past him. All right. Upstairs. That's the uh, safest place to go when you're being chased. The door to the rooftop, it's locked and can't be opened. Oh, that's right, this door's kept locked ever since someone committed suicide by jumping off the roof. So I'll jump out the window instead. Oh, that door's open. That was... Oh! 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 Oh, you daft bitch! You just stood there! Where do I start from now? Oh, right back here. See ya. <laughs> Bye. So what am I doing? I got this. Is yeah. I'm gonna put it down. Uh, I don't want to run that way. I wanted to. Oh, okay. I guess that's what I had to do. This door should lead to the parking lot outside. <sighs> so I'd shut it won't open. Oh, that's right. Ever since that person committed suicide in the parking lot, we've locked the door. Something was dripping. I can hear it. Oh, storage key. Oh, spooky. It's gonna be behind here. Yeah, look behind. Can I just touch that with my nose? Now security will shortly come. If I can somehow stay alive until then. Bye. Ordering pizza? Shit! This store's gonna be locked. Yeah. Ever since that guy committed suicide on the porch. <gasps> oh shit! There's no fire extinguisher here. Oh! Ooh, get him! Get him! I'm dead. I don't know what I'm supposed to do then. Like, she just sometimes stops moving. But when he gets too close and she's like, yeah, kill me. Kill me, I'm too scared to go on. So he was in the elevator, so, uh, we'll leave that. Oh no. Oh, that's, that's a weapon though. Silent Hill taught me anything, that's a stick. And that's a weapon. Rose? Oh, did I see a scalp? Okay, I'm glad you got that out of your system. Bottles of medicine. Anything that I can kill myself with? Files on the desk. There's something written on the file. You have discovered hint number four. But what is it? So I've got hints though, apparently. Yeah? I've got hints, but nothing but the left analog stick and X do anything. Oh, and then now she picked that up. Oh, shit! Get him! I don't know what it is. What, what, what is it? Oh, they just fucking threw it at his head. And now he's leaving. I mean, he had me cornered. That was a bottle of ammonia. And acrid, well, acrid smell fills the room. Something. Some sort of smell. What the fuck am I doing now? I'm not taking that stick. Okay. Okay. 
And there's still something here that I can click on. Files are on the desk. Oh, it's just okay. Okay, I'll leave. I can take that mace now, since I know it's like you don't, you don't like smelly stuff. This must be that one that's really good at keeping attackers at bay. I should probably leave it here since it's not mine. Okay. 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 Oh, he knows where I am! Oh, come on, why? So why let me do that? He knew where I was instantly. Dead. End. Okay. So don't go under the bed. Because... Don't. I don't want to do that. I thought she was going to be like, Oh, the dead body's gone. A bed for staff who work late. Is she going to get under this one? So now she, she doesn't like that bed. But this bed... She would climb under. Cheap uncle. Oh, famous for being squeaky. So now she won't get under the bed. Oh, but now she probably will. Because, yeah. Yeah. She's playing noises. Get under this one. Under this one. Get. Oh, you fuck. You fuck. Ooh. Is a short guy? Is it. Yeah. He is pretty short. He's a pretty tiny dude. Bad posture, doesn't really look up much, apart from every half step he sort of does look at the ceiling. Oh no, he probably knows where it... No! <laughs> hey! And off he goes! So I don't know if that's random, and like sort of just trial and error, or if he is more likely to look under a bed than on top of a bed. Oh! Can't keep making that noise. Go! I don't know why I was in a rush. I've got, I've got plenty of time. He's not. not the fastest guy about. Is this smelly? Can I throw this in his, his face? Yeah. Bitch! No, I need to be in there! Alright. I'm gonna run up on him while he's still rocked. Yeah? Is he gone now? Nothing that might be useful. Not even that bright red thing that looks too bright and stand out to not be something useful. Really? That's not where I was clicking. Alright, yeah, well, I'll go do the fucking facts when I can move. He's coming. I can hear him walking. I think. I can hear something. Does my game froze? Get ready. I'm coming to get ya. Okay. He's behind me. So that was it. I chased him into this room for him to send me a letter. There's been a murder. Come quickly, please. Please relax, ma'am. Did you see the murderer? He's the one with the giant scissors. Scissor man. You've heard of him, haven't you? Oh my god, yeah. Okay. If this yeah. is a prank phone call. Wait! Oh, so there is a glitch with the audio. Are you cleaned up? Something written on the table. You discovered hint number five. I don't know what it is. This is another hiding place. Oh shit! Move! Oh, that one proper got me. Fuck. God, use your legs, woman, and move. I've been on that floor. Keep going up. Yeah, do this one, this one. Get in. Um, um, 
looking for the storage room. Is he still coming after me? Oh, yeah, he is. I can see him like in the. I can see him in the wall. The fuck? <laughs> I don't think that was intentional. I want to go hide on the top bunk. Because I, I don't know what else I'm doing. He'll never look up here. Oh, that was a wide turn. That means he's coming for me. He tried to make, make it look like he won't come for me. And he's going to come right for me. No? No? I guess this guy just might not climb. Yeah, because he's just not a climber. Oh no! No, 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 no! Oh, it's a cutscene. It's a cutscene. Kill, kill, kill. Oh, it's not a cutscene anymore! It's not a cutscene anymore! You bitch! Oh, you idiot! She just stood there. She has to give herself like three feet of clearance. To open a push door. Right, yeah, back here. He's gonna run. And he's gonna be saying, like, kill, kill, kill. Yeah. And I need to live, live, live by calmly opening the door. Okay. So maybe I messed that up. But oh, shit! Shit! You came in fast. Now can I use the elevator to like get around him? Yeah, bye bitch. Was that a bad idea? Should I fucking close the fucking door? Okay. There's some tools here. I wonder if it's being repaired. This might be useful. Oh players! They are useful! And um, okay, that sounds bad. It's bad. It's spooky. There's gonna be in here. Fuck that, fuck that. Fucking bitch somewhere, I know. I know you're coming for me. And uh hmm, yeah, you did. Okay, that's it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. What the fuck? I just got the wire! Oh, oh, is it the key? Is that for the star? Ah, oh, okay, yeah it was, okay. Let's get to my car and fast. Got to get to my car, but let me circle five times like a dog about to take a shit. And is that it? Hey! Alright, that's it for part one. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't, don't. And uh, last but not least, Happy Halloween.